Hello everyone. Today we will be learning something from geometry and trigonometry. We will learn certain key concepts, uh, for example, sine rule and how to use monotonicity of cosine function. But before we do, do that, let's start with a problem from ISI entrance 2016. It's a subjective problem number six. Using this problem, we will learn all of these key concepts. Remember, our goal is not just to solve this problem in this video. We want to learn something that can be used in other problems. So let me tell you what is given in this particular problem. There is a triangle ABC and the side opposite to the vertex A is denoted by small a. The si side opposite to the vertex B is denoted by small b and the side opposite to vertex c is denoted by small c. It's a standard way to denote sides and angles of a triangle. And it's given that sine of a plus b is equal to small a over small a plus small b times sine a cosine b minus b by a plus b sine b cosine a. Okay. So this is the given data and we want to show that this triangle is isosceles. So at this point I would ask you to pause the video and give, the, give it a try on your own because you can do some trigonometric simplification and get a sim simplified formula out of this expression. Now let's look at the key concepts that we will be using here. First of all, there is the sine rule, which is simply sine capital A by small a, sine capital B by small b, sine capital C by small c is equals to 1 over 2R. This is in any triangle ABC, where capital A is the angle A and small a is the side opposite to angle A and so on, right? So, um, can you tell me in the comment why this formula is true? I have discussed it in other places, but you can also try and prove it if you have not seen this before. The second thing is the monotonicity of the cosine function. So between 0 and pi, the cosine function decreases from positive 1 to negative 1. So none of its value repeats. So if two angles of a triangle are such, so if two angles of a triangle are such that cosine a is equal to cosine b the only way these two cosines can be equal if the angles are themselves equal because between 0 and 80 degree or 0 and pi radian the value of cosine always decreases so no two for no two different values of the angle cosine of the angle are equal so if cosine A is equal to cosine B in a triangle, then it must be true that angle A is equals to angle B. So we will be using these two facts to prove that the triangle ABC is in fact isosceles. So let's do some simplification. So let me write it here, simplification. Our given data is this, that sine of a minus b is equals to a over a plus b sine a cosine b minus b over a plus b sine b cosine a. Now let's simplify a little bit. Uh, sine a cosine b minus cosine a sine b. I just expanded this in using the trigonometric formula is equals to a over a plus b sine a cosine b minus b over a plus b sine b cosine a. So this is true because I use the trick formula trick formula for sine of a minus b. Okay. All right. So now let's group the like elements together. So we have sine A cosine B minus 
a over a plus b sin a cosine b this is equal to sin b cosine a so i just took this one to the right hand side minus b over a plus b sin b cosine a all right now we can simplify this so if we do that we have sin a cosine b 1 minus a plus b so i took sin a cosine b common and similarly i would have 1 minus b by a plus b sin b cosine a so you're almost done we have sin a cosine b times this simplifies to a so this is a plus b minus a by a plus b this little portion let me circle it using green so this is b by a plus b times b by a plus b similarly this one will be a by a plus b times sine b cosine a i can cancel off the a plus b and then i will do a little trick i'll just write sine a divided by a so i'll bring this a downstairs so sine a divided by a times cos b is equals to sin b divided by b by cos by small b times cos a now see sin a divided by a is just 1 over 2r because of the sine rule that we have described earlier so this is 1 over 2r times cosine b it's equal to 1 over 2r times cosine a so we cancel out 2r and 2r finally we have cosine b is equals to cosine a now if we can say from here that angle b is equal to angle a if we can say this then the triangle would be isosceles now in the comment can you tell me why this implication follows i have described why in the beginning of the video but i want you to process that idea and tell me why i can say cosine b equal to cosine a implies angle b is equals to angle a remember that's not always the case something very special is happening here okay so i hope you have learned something from here and uh, how to use these two important key concepts sine rule and monotonicity of the cosine function and you can use it in other problems as well check the link in the description for more resources related to isi and cmi entrances mathematical olympiads and other contests if you have any questions or ideas please feel free to put it in the comment like and subscribe if you want us to make more videos like this thank you